Hi guys and welcome back to another Dolly Vlog Hub video. Before I start with the video, I would like to remind you to please check my description box because I will leave links of other doll collector YouTubers that are also answering to these questions with me. So without further ado, let's start the actual video. Today I am going to be answering to question number 8 and it goes like this. If you were given the chance to do a creator's label doll or to design your own doll, what would you add, take away or improve from it? What kind of a style would you choose and which doll? You either have a Pulip, Dal, Biu, Tian or Isu doll. This question is one of my favorites for this vlog hop. When I read it, my mind just got so creative. I started creating all these amazing dolls in my head and Oh my gosh, I wish, I wish I could be invited to group to create my own doll for them because that would be like a dream come true. For those of you who still don't know, a creator's label doll is basically when Groove Company, which is the company that makes police dolls, hires some type of artist or designer to create a doll for them and they basically sell it to the public at the end of the day. I have plenty of ideas for my own creator's level doll, but the one that I have chosen is basically one that really, really represents me and something that I want to give to those people that do not like pulip dolls. So it was a very good combination of things. A lot of people, like really a lot of people, tells me that these dolls are very creepy. That they have the big heads are creepy, the eyes, moving eyes are creepy, and they are so human-like that it's kind of weird looking. And they are scared that the doll is going to wake up one day and just kill them. So my idea was create a true nightmare of the of this creator's label Sailor Moon Eternal collaboration. I am a huge fan of horror movies. I love horror movies to death. Like I really really love them. My first horror movie horror movie I'm going to put it in quotation marks is Child's Play. I watched it I think when I was five four years old and it kind of traumatized me at the beginning, but with the past of the years, I really, really love that movie because it's really, really funny. And I don't know, I like horror and it's amazing. So my whole life, basically the only movies that I really, really enjoy are horror movies. So I thought it was a great idea to create this line of dolls that will be horror related. I have chosen the vampire line that Pulip came out uh, a while ago. I don't think, I don't remember when, but it had a couple years because they are super beautiful. Uh, here's a picture of the line right here. They are three dolls, which is a doll, a Pulip, and a Tyan dolls. I think the three of them are vampires. And not too long ago, an Isu vampire like. Uh, doll came out I think his name is Vermelo or something like that and I think they will be amazing for this line I will make clothes that are really strong looking I want them to be prominent I want them to be dark colors I want it to be like red and black and some type of silver and Things that you people would be afraid of if you if they find a person wearing these clothes at night. The makeup will be these dark eyes. All of them are going to have these dark eyes and like really jet black um, eye chips because ugh, they are amazing. They will be so amazing. I really want to make them over the top and very dramatic to kind of like make people feel scared of them that's what i want that's what i want a lot of people tell me these dolls are creepy so i want to show them how creepy they can be because you know that's fun the idea of 
customizing your own dolls is so great because you can do whatever you want and however you want to and I will definitely make mine to have this horror style. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, that's always really nice. Don't forget to please check my other doll collector YouTubers that are also answering in this question. I'm leaving the links in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future and please, please check other videos that I have done in the past. So, see you in the next one. Bye!